The Andrew Carter Morning Show on News Talk Radio, CJAD 800. Expecting more details from Finance Minister Bill Morneau around lunchtime today. Justin Trudeau, Prime Minister, shared details of a, um, some anyway, of a wage subsidy for businesses and nonprofits that can prove at least a 30% drop in revenue due to the outbreak. They promised to um, handle se- up to 75% of workers' wages up to a point. Uh, Nick Moratis is the uh, team lead on Canadian taxes at Fuller Landau. Good morning, Nick. Good morning, Andrew. How are you and your family doing? We're isolated. I haven't spoken to anybody. Uh, it's boring. <laughs> it's and that's bad. and that's coming from an accountant. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so it must be really boring. <laughs> Uh, so, Nick, uh, tell me about this. Is this, uh, from what we know so far about this program, is this going to be easy for employers to use? Uh, well, we have to get to the point in time that we can start using it, and that's what I'm starting to get concerned with a lot of these measures and may explain why Air Canada is doing what they're doing uh, today. Um, it, it, it could. Uh, yet, we, there's a lot of questions. What does a 30% drop in revenue mean compared to what? Compared to last year? compared to what you were expecting this year, if you're a business that's growing, yeah. uh, compared to the last two, three months, is, is the 30% uh, calculated for that three-month period that the program is supposed to cover employers, which is uh, March 15 to, I guess, June 15? Is that where you have to show a 30% drop? Uh, we, we are, we know, business owners are trying to decide what to do. My, my, anybody in retail has got zero sales. Anybody selling to retail stores has got zero sales. Yeah. Uh, so even the 75% subsidy is, well, my sales went to zero. So that is, is becoming very, very difficult. Um, so we need more information. And in addition to needing more information to figure out how it affects every single employer and employee, when will the cash be available? And, and what seems to be happening is the cash is going to be available perhaps later in a month or so or, or two or three weeks from now. Well, what do I do to get there? And, and Air Canada, I think, is, is, is telling a lot of people, well, we can't afford to wait. We're, we're doing something now. So that, that's that's scary. Okay, and the 75% was capped uh, to what salary yeah, level? It's, uh, the maximum is 58700 per year. Now, what does that mean? Let's look at it at a weekly basis. So the weekly maximum salary is $1,129 per employee. And if, if your employee is making $1,129 per week, what that means is the government's going to send you a check for $847. That's the maximum you can expect. Right. So the employer is going to cover the remaining $282. So if an employee is making, say, $1,300 a week, you're still getting a check for $847, and you're covering the difference. Uh, anyone making less than that $1,129 a week, so let's say it's $1,000 to keep the math easy, well, you'll get a check for $750, which is 75% of the 1000 and and you have to uh, finance the other 250 Okay, and now, but this is voluntary as far as the employee, employer is concerned. You don't, you don't have to pay anything. Well, this is it. The, yeah. the, 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 the Twitter came out very, very clear. And so, listen, the, the objective of all this is to try to keep as many people on payroll as we can because our systems, our EI system, cannot support the, the, required, the demand right now for uh, unemployment insurance. And, and the, the, so there is a message in there. It's not, you're not supposed to try to fool around to try to profit from this. The, the difficulty is um, uh, by the time the cash is available, can an employer find the, uh, that other 25% to invest uh, and, until then? And, and that becomes an issue. Okay, so, so say for argument's sake that yeah. uh, an employee is currently making $1,000. Are we talking yeah. about is that gross salary or net salary? Yeah, well, everything that I understand is gross. Um, okay, so, so, seem, yeah. so then would, would the employer take the... Instead of paying, you know, if somebody's making eighty thousand dollars a year right now, and they uh-huh. end up with, you know, nine hundred and eighty-seven or whatever it is, say eight hundred and something a, a week, uh, and then the tax is taken off on top of that. No, what I suspect is going to happen is uh, the way I've, I've interpreted this is that the employers are going to be business as usual with salaries and deductions at source and all that. That that isn't changing. Yeah. So if someone's making eighty thousand, they will pay whatever taxes and contributions they need at eighty. And if you're twenty or thirty thousand, you'll do that there. What that means to the uh, employer, because the, the, the employer's check is going to go to the employee for the net, and is and then all the deductions at source that he's taking away from the employee, he's sending a check to the government. 
I suspect that once that payroll is done, there must be some mechanism that will be introduced hopefully today that will, that will allow employers to say, okay, I'm going to go somewhere to get a check from the government to cover me for my, that, that 75% of what I paid. Okay. Uh, that's sort of the way I'm seeing it. Okay. Right now. And hopefully it won't be so complicated so that if you're a small business and you're trying to run your own payroll that you can figure it out. Hopefully, yeah. yes. And I don't know if they're going to be working with the national payroll organizations who do handle it that will be uh, able to, to move in and, and help businesses right now. And we, and we don't know, again, at 75% subsidy, we're expecting a check from the government because there's not enough deductions at source for you to withhold uh, uh, and, and recover that 75%. So how long will it take them to get you that 75% is going to be an issue. So, Nick, we'll uh, speak again uh, maybe tomorrow. Probably, when we, when we yeah. Know more. yeah. Okay. So stay safe. Take yeah, care. Yeah, yeah, and okay. you uh, don't, don't, don't get too lonely there. Nick Moretis.